morning. Uh, it's good to see you. It's good to be here. And it's good to spend some time together in this way. Hope y'all are doing well. It is currently drizzling out here. It looks like this morning is going to be pretty rainy, but maybe the afternoon will clear up a little bit as far as rain goes, but still be a little cloudy. I was thinking about that, um, how often we check the weather to kind of plan our days. And I wish that um, there was a radar for other things in our lives, not just weather, that we could kind of prepare for what's about to come. Um, but I guess that's what our faith is for, right? <laughs> that we can hold on to, to faith and um, not even when we're not prepared for what comes our way in our days, uh, we have faith to kind of lean on. But let's start with the prayer. And then today I don't have too much to, to talk about, but I want to just talk a little bit about rest. Um, but let's start out with a prayer and then uh, hope that God fills our lives with something good now and for the rest of the day. Let's pray. God, thank you for today. Uh, thank you for this rain and thank you for um, the time and later in the day when it will be clearer. Uh, we just ask that you be with us through all different things in our lives, the things that we can prepare for, the things that we can't. Um, fill us up with something good this morning with some inspiration from your word and uh, lead us into the day to do your work in this world, to care for one another. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I woke up today uh, and it was dark out because of the clouds and, and the sun sunrise is so late uh, at this time of year. We only have a, a late sunrise for a couple of months before, you know, the clocks change. And I, I woke up wondering um, when the clocks might change because whenever you wake up and you're still pretty tired at the normal time that you wake up, then maybe you didn't get a good night's rest before. And, and I started thinking, man, I wish today was the day that we pushed the clocks back <laughs> and I got one more hour of sleep. And I know that that's not exactly how the daylight savings works. Um, but that one hour when we do the one day, in the fall when we change the clocks, it does feel like we get that extra hour of sleep. And I thought about how often I would like just one more hour in the day um, for sleep, for doing some thing at church. Um, I, I hear often how, how the students are, are studying all day and they just wish they had one more hour, you know? Um, and I've said that many times and I've heard others say it too. And I think that one day out of the year, we, we finally do get that hour and it's usually in the evening and it's usually a time when we get maybe one more hour of sleep or we wake up a little earlier the next day and have a little rest before the day begins. Um, and that just made me think about how much we need rest in our lives and how often we um, feel a little bit exhausted whether it's from work, from daily relationships, uh, from just lack of faith sometimes, you know, not lack of faith, but just weariness in faith. Um, and how often Jesus kind of tells us, come on and be a part of this community and I'll give you what you need. You know, there's that passage in Matthew where Jesus says, come to me all who are weary uh, and I will give you rest <laughs> talks about um, most of our yokes in our lives the things that we're carrying with us the responsibilities that we have are, are heavy but Jesus is going to give us a yoke that's very light and easy to carry um, come to a come to me all who are weary uh, and I will give you rest and so how can we use our faith to kind of lean into that rest a little more and not just wait for that one day when we set the clocks back and get that extra hour um, but how can we kind of lean into that and let our faith give us that rest and that time when we need it? Uh, some days it's easier to do that than others, right? If you have a day where you're not as busy, then maybe you do have time to kind of sit back and rest, at least take a 10 minute nap. Uh, and other days you're busy all day and, and every day. And so you don't have time for that, but it's part of our faith to, to lean into that rest um, and to take care of ourselves too. And so how can we do that more often? Let's pray and then go about our days. I don't want to take too much of your time this morning or whenever you're watching this because we do have a limited amount of time in our days. Um, so 
Let's pray and then ask God to be with us. Let us pray. God, thank you for your presence and thank you for the promise to be with us and to take our burdens and to um, give us rest, to be right next to us when we are too weary. Uh, we ask that we remember that in the moments in which we are most exhausted or stressed or anxious, um, that you are with us. And we ask for uh, the ability, the courage, the mindset um, to let you give us rest <laughs> when we are able. Um, not only when we set our clocks back, but when we, uh, when we need it the most. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks, y'all. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you get some rest either today, tomorrow, sometime this week, um, and that you uh, hold on to your faith when you need to the most. God bless.